Hello and welcome to Just Vintage Crochet and let's do another mystery pattern. If you are new to the channel, I have a bunch of patterns here from the 1840s to the 1970s. Each pattern is numbered and we have a matching number in the bowl. Any part of the pattern that could possibly give away what it is has been blacked out and cut out. We have no context, just the words. Okay, here we go. Let's What do we got? Number 15 this time. 13, 8, 12, 18, 14, and 15. Okay. This one is from, I don't know what year. Maybe it's on... Looks like there's probably a photo. So it looks like it's on the photo. Whatever year this is, we won't know until we're done. Which does make it slightly more difficult because I can always tell from what year it says. I mean, we're talking about Berlin wool. This could be Victorian. Okay, let's get into this. We need cardinal and white single Berlin wool one ounce of each fine bone crochet needle. Okay, this is gonna be Victorian, but I don't know how Victorian. Okay, so I do believe that this is the weight of a single Berlin wool, which is equivalent to a modern number 10 crochet cotton. And as far as a fine bo bone hook goes, I do have one, it's a little warped and bent. Uh, these bone hooks tend to do that. Um, this one here is from the Victorian era, but I couldn't pinpoint to you at which point in the Victorian era. Uh, so yeah, let's see what size this is. Uh, let's see here, we could get away with a 3.25 and with a three, it will just fit in a 2.75 and it'll barely fit into a 2.5. So I would say a three to a 3.25 is what I have here. So it wants us to, here we go. We're going to commence with white wool at the, we don't know, with 22 chains. Missed, miss the first of the chain stitches and work 21 single crochet. I was kind of glazing over this pattern. I feel extremely confident that this is a UK Victorian era pattern. Single crochet doesn't exist anywhere. They say miss a stitch. Um, they use treble. So I believe this is a UK Victorian era pattern. Okay, so it looks like we're going to start with 22 chains, and in the second chain from the hook, we're going to work 21 U.S. single crochet. Then we're going to chain one, turn, and work 21 more single crochet back the other way. So let's go ahead and start with that. And I really am enjoying the fact that I have these bone hooks now from the Victorian era, and I feel like it's going to be like really immersive. Um, when working these, oh boy, that is wobbly. Boy, that's wobbly. We're going to give it a go. Anyways, I've already practiced with this hook back when I first got it. It seemed to work fine, even though it's completely bent. That is completely bent. Okay. 21 single crochet. I don't want to stretch my stitches open that far. Here we go. One, two, three. Okay, there are my 22 stitches, and it said to essentially, with all that wording, it said to start in the second chain from the hook and work a UK double crochet, but US single crochet into every chain to the end for 21. 21 single crochet. Okay, my 21 US single crochet worked. Now we are to one chain to turn and work 21 single crochet again, taking up the small loop at the back of the stitches, so back loop only. As the work is set in ribs, I'm sorry, as the work is to set in ribs, 
work 16 rows of UK double crochet, US single crochet. At the end of the 16th row, work 10 chain. Okay, so we're going to work 16. Now, it's, it's not saying 16 more, but would it? I mean, these are vague patterns. So work 16 more. No, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. At the end of the 16th row, but 16 from here or 16 total? So I'm going to put my deal there. I'm going to work 16 total, I think. I think I'm going to work 16 total. So chain one, turn, and back loop only. We work one single crochet into each stitch. So I will be back at the end of this row. I won't, I won't be back at the end of this row, but at the end of this row, just cha chain one turn and continue working single crochet if you want to follow along. I am only going to work a total of 16 rows. At best, that means I'm short one row. That's fine. But I think they mean 16 total rows. Okay, so I will be right back. I'm going to work 16 rows of single crochet, back loop only, ribbing. Okay, so I have my 16 rows done. Let's see what we do next. All right. Uh, at the end of the 16, 16th row, work 10 chain for the, we don't know, join across to the opposite side of the work. Now proceed with blank in rounds. So let's go with that first, the 10 chains at the end of the 16 rows, 10 chains. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I can only assume they mean to join across this way, which makes sense. I'm going to join with a slip stitch. Okay. Now, first round. Now, we are going to be working in the rounds on this portion. Single crochet. We go single crochet in every stitch, making 21 single crochet on the work already done and 10 single crochet on the chain stitches. 31 single crochet in all. Okay. Um, so I'm guessing I'm gonna go ahead and chain one and So starting right here, so work 21. Oh, I wonder if I meant to continue to work in the back loop only. Probably. It doesn't say otherwise. So probably. So one, two, three, Four. I'll be right back. Okay, I've worked 21 across. Now I'm going to work the 10 over the chain. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This chain is going to be twisted. Yeah, it's twisted. Well, I'll make it work. I surely will. All right. Seems like if I start my first stitch way down here, I might be able to twist it up. I'm trying really hard to get underneath that back bump to try to spin the chain 
all into one direction. And of course, now this stitch is overtly stretched. I'll be right back. I got it. I just had to work right up under my eyeballs to see what I'm doing. But now it it would seem like the, the chain is all spinning in the right direction now. So what I did is, see here is the top of the chain here, like the regular part of the braid. And here is the back of the chain. And you know we've got the back bumps in the back of the chain. I wanted to go up underneath that back bump and work those two top chains there to spin the whole chain in one direction. And so now I'm going to continue to work underneath that back bump. There we go. Right there. But at least I got the chain all spun in the same direction. It was just not something I was able to do on camera. Okay, and see, it looks uniform if that's that's what we're going for i'm not sure what this thing is <laughs> uh, i haven't even been counting one two three four five six and we have seven eight nine ten okay seven eight Oh, I split that last one. Of course I did. I'll be right back. Okay, all done. I have my 21 chains here, or 21 stitches here and 10 stitches here. Okay. Are we making like a little doll dress? Oh, are we making a little doll dress? All right, so we have our double crochet in every stitch, making 21 on the work already done. Okay, we have that. 18 consecutive double crochet work one I'm gonna speak in US terms if that's okay with everybody 18 consecutive single crochet work one single crochet on next two single crochet okay let's just start with 18 single crochet in a row and it doesn't say to chain or turn so I'm gonna go ahead and grab a stitch marker so I know where my row begins and ends because it looks like we're going to be working in a continuous round. And I don't know if I meant to continue to work in the back loop only. I really don't because we're not turning anymore. So I just don't. Hmm. It's one of those moments I wish I could ask you guys, what, what do you think? We're not turning. Not anymore, but we're not turning right now. Maybe, maybe just because it creates a nice texture, I continue to work in the back loop only. So that's one, two, three, four, five. I'll be right back. I'm gonna work until I have 18. There are the 18 single crochet worked. Now, 18 consecutive single crochet, work one single crochet, work one single crochet on next two single crochet of the preceding round, one single crochet, wait a minute, I'm sorry, work one single crochet on next two single crochet, well then, doesn't that mean I've worked 20 single crochet in a row? Am I doing this wrong already? 18 consecutive single crochet. Work one single crochet on next two single crochet of preceding round. Okay, that's a funny way of saying work 20 single crochet in a row, but I mean, I don't mean to sound smart alecky, but isn't that kind of what they're saying right now? Work one single crochet on each of the next two of the preceding round this being the preceding round. Um, then it says to work nine, nine single crochet. I 
and then one single crochet on the next two. It, there is meaning to this for sure, but I'm not grasping it. Okay, round two, 18 consecutive single crochet. Work one single crochet on the next two single crochet of the preceding round, nine single crochet, and then one single on the next two single of the preceding round. And that is a total of nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's a total of 13 single crochet in a row. I don't understand. I feel like I've just absolutely hit a brick wall. Let's see here. <laughs> we just worked our two. Then we worked the nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then two. That's just one single crochet in every stitch around. If I'm reading that right. It's just one single crochet in every stitch around. And then third row is plain, so that's one single crochet in every stitch around. Fourth row, 18 consecutive single crochet. One, we're repeating this again, one single on next two of last round, seven single, and then one single on the next two. I'm so confused. I'll hold this up so you can see what I'm seeing. I mean, here we are, right here, round two. 18 consecutive single crochet. That means 18 single crochet in a row. Then work one single crochet on next two single crochet. Oh, wait, 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 wait. They're not wording it. I'm putting my modern my modern way of reading a pattern into this pattern. I think what they mean is to one and two pull through. I think that's what they mean to say. I think that's what it translates into. Okay, then we work nine. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then we work these two together. I wonder if I'm supposed to be working the back loop. I really do. or if I'm supposed to be working the full stitch. I'm gonna to continue to work back loop. Okay, so round three was plain. So that's one single crochet into every stitch around with no decreasing. So I think that's what they were describing. At first I wasn't grasping it. And then um, I think that's what they were trying to say that was to decrease the stitch. So I'm gonna work one single crochet all around. I'll be right back. Okay, so I worked the third round. Fourth round is going to be 18 single crochet in a row, and then decrease two, and then seven double single crochet in a row, and then decrease two. Okay, so just like we did before, but with seven instead of nine. So we go into this next single crochet, pull up the loop, next one over, pull up the loop, And then the next one, work 18. Wait, 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 why did I do that? Ugh, that was goofy.
Okay, worked one single crochet in every stitch around. Now we're going to work 18 single crochet in a row and then one decrease and seven single crochet in a row and another decrease. Okay, all right. So we're gonna start with 18 single crochet in a row. One, two, three. I will be right back. One, two, three. I'll be right back. Okay, so I worked all the decreases around 18 single crochet, decrease, seven single crochet, and decrease. And now for round five, it says to work plain. So one single crochet in every stitch around. I'll be right back. I'm going to work that all around. Okay, <clears throat> worked my round of plain. Now, sixth round here is, again, 18 single crochet in a row, one decrease, five single crochet, one decrease. It says, now continue single crochet working every fifth stitch, one double crochet on two of the last rounds. So every fifth stitch we work a decrease until the blank is reduced to 10 stitches. Break off the wool and with the wool needle, draw the wool through the 10 stitches and sew them closed and round. Sew them up, oh, you'd think I was brand new at reading. Sew them up close and round, okay. Then we're gonna move on to the cardinal color. All right, so I'm just gonna follow that, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the 18 decrease, five decrease. Then I'm going to, after that, decrease every fifth stitch until there are 10, and then I will close it up. I'll be back whenever I'm ready to close it up. Okay, sounds pretty easy. It would probably go by pretty quick. I'll be right back. Right, I have 10 stitches left. So what I'm actually going to do is slip stitch because of this huge ledge right here. I'm just going to go ahead and slip stitch into this next stitch over. That will help even things up. And then it said to weave this through and draw it shut close and round. I am super duper curious what we're making here. I don't recognize anything that I'm doing. Like, I don't know, what do you guys think? I don't have the first clue as we speak, as of right now, I don't know. I'm still kind of wondering if we aren't making dolls clothes and if maybe this pattern came out of the, uh, the pattern book that we do the flip and picking patterns from because there's some doll dresses in there. So now I'm wondering if that's what, what one of these is, That's if this is one of those. All right, come back into the first stitch and draw it closed. Back down into the center. And I will weave that in in just a moment. Let's see what we're gonna do next. Uh, until, okay. Reduce the stitches. Okay, close and round. For the mystery, with cardinal wool, work 10, work 10 single crochet on the blank chain. We don't have a chain. On the blank chain and working, and continue working 10 single crochet backwards and forwards for 10 rows, what chain? Well, we have this chain here. Do you think they mean here? Do you, I, mean, I know this isn't a loose chain, but this is the only 10 chain that I can think of that we did. So maybe they mean, maybe they're talking about this chain right here that we worked before. So I went ahead and weaved in that end right there just because it was kind of in the way a little bit. So here's where we're at now. With cardinal wool, work 10 
single crochet on the the blank chain. I think they are referring to this part here. Okay. Uh, crochet backwards and forwards for 10 rows. And I wonder, do we do that back loop only? Did it say up here throughout work in the back chain? Turn the work, taking up the small as the work is set in the ribs. I mean, I don't know. Okay, so I wonder, start this way? Yeah, probably. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I only have one little loop available to work into. Okay. Oh, that's like spun one too many times. Okay. Chain one and single crochet, single crochet in the next stitch over. I really don't have the first idea what we are making, you guys. This one here has really got me guessing. All right, I'm gonna have to do this on my lap, I think, yeah. So I'll be right back. I'm going to work my 10 single crochet across. Okay. All that worked in. Now, oops, you stay put. Quite trying to roll away. All right. Work 10 chain on the, okay, or 10, whatever. Uh, continue working in 10 single crochet backwards and forwards for 10 rows at the end of each row catching up the side of the foot part we missed a word which you know what I mean this is just a wall of text so I'm not gonna hold that against anybody I am queen of mistakes who am I to judge all right, so maybe this is some kind of a slipper. It's so small, it's a baby slipper, or I wasn't supposed to use thread this small. We'll find out when we unmask it. All right, well, I think the foot part is telling me it's a slipper now. Okay, back and forwards uh, at the end of each row, catching up the side stitch of the foot part. So my guess is about lost my hook again. My guess is with every every row we come, come to this side and we catch the side. Well, I'll just do it. <laughs> so do we work this one single crochet together? Surely I don't add a stitch. No, because it says to work 10. So that's what I am going to do. So I'm going to go into my last stitch and come into this side of the little wall here and pick up a stitch. No, no. There we go. Now come into the side and boom. Chain one and I'm still gonna work in the back loop only. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then with 10, I'll pick up this loop and then come over here and right here and pick up this loop chain one and repeat one 
All right, so I'm gonna do this. This is my third row. Okay, so I'm gonna do this until I have hit row 10. I will be right back. Okay, I think actually what I was supposed to do is, is at the end of every row, I work the two, the two single crochet together and also at the start, and I wasn't doing that. Because I was sitting here thinking, mm, I think I'm not doing this right. So here we go. Okay, that is 10. Sorry, guys. All right, then chain one, and I think I need to pick up the next row up. And also this back loop here. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10, pull up this loop, go into that space, that's 10, chain one, come into the next section up, pull up through there and here. And that's one. Okay, so that's what I'm actually going to do. All right, I will be right back. Okay, finished 10 rows. There we go. Now I'm starting to see after reading when it said foot, now I'm starting to see that it's some kind of a slipper. The only question is, is this meant for a child or an adult? Either way, I'm not starting over. <laughs> Can I keep going? Okay. For 10 rows, okay, catching the side of the foot part, break off when 10 rows are done and recommence with the cardinal wool at the, we don't know, working single crochet on each rib of the don't know part. Now I wish I knew what those words were. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to have to figure out what they mean ribbing okay maybe they mean the side right here like maybe they mean the side right here break off all right Just put these down in there for now. All right. And recommence the cardinal wool at the, at the what? Working single crochet on each rib of the blank part. Mm. 10 single crochet along that side. I don't know. 10 single crochet on the blank stitches and 10 single crochet on the opposite side of the blank. Boy, uh, I think these are really probably very crucial descriptor words here that we really need. Okay, so at this point, I'm 100% stumped without these vital keywords because I don't know where I'm supposed to work, where, where I'm supposed to put all these, uh, these 10 single crochet on. So... Do you think we've worked enough of this that we have now earned ourselves a little bit of mental stress, freedom, and I can go ahead and, and see if Justin has this pattern or I think the way this is written, 
I recognize this kind of writing. I think this came out of the book. I really do. The book. The big book. Just a moment. Let me go. Well, first of all, do we dare? Should we do it? Okay. We think it's a slipper. We're pretty confident it's a slipper. Is this for an adult or for a child? Boot. Okay, it's a boot. Crochet boot. No, no, no. Please don't tear. Please don't do that. I got to tell you, this masking tape does its job. Masks. Baby. And we tore. Okay, all right. Uh, let me, I'm just going to make that executive decision. I really need to know what these, these, I really need to know where I need to place my hook. I just don't know. Do I start here, 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 here? I don't know. So I will be right back. Okay, are you ready? I just looked at it. Here's what we have. Here is what we are making. Baby's long crochet boot, and it did come from this book. I thought I recognized that, because I've got some magazines from the 70s and 80s with patterns that are this old, but the layout doesn't look quite like this. This is a unique layout I don't see everywhere, so I thought I recognized it. There it is for the end stuff. Let's see everything he blacked out. He missed the word foot. Oh, okay, for the, and he just blacked out in step. Okay, so let's look at where we are at. Okay, work 10 double crochet on the in step chain. Yeah, yeah, we did that. That's that part right there. Oops, that's that part right there. And we got that part. Okay. Uh, backwards and forwards. Okay, catching the foot part. Break off when 10 rows are done and recommence with cardinal wool at the heel. Wait a minute. Mine isn't this long. Yeah, mine's nowhere near this long. I'm glad I kept working back loop only, by the way. Look at that. It was, it was supposed to be back loop only. Yeah. All right, so. Break off, okay. Commence with cardinal wool. I mean, do we just, how are you gonna get a baby's foot in that? I'm probably using too small of a wool. I really probably am. Yeah, I really probably am. Yeah. Dadgummit. Well, all right, so this will be for a doll. <laughs> okay. It didn't tell us to sew the back up, but all right, we need to start. Let's see here. I'm just going to start here. Okay. At the heel. Was I meant to sew this part up? It didn't say to. Maybe it was a given. Because it's saying to start at the heel, which would be back here. Okay, at the heel, working single crochet on each rib of the foot part. Ten single crochet along that side. Can I even get ten there? One, two, three four, five, six, seven. All right, starting at the heel. It's not telling me to sew it up, but I mean, it. I must need to sew it up. Okay, I'm gonna put two in this stitch, one, two, Three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to put two in each of the next two. So six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, and then along here, it wants me to put 10. One. Two, I'm gonna work this on my lap really quick, but I'm gonna work 10 here and then 10 here the same way I did on this side. I'll be right back. Undo my work and start over. I'm gonna start on this side here so that my single crochet stitches can be out because I really don't like how messy that looks. That's not cute. So I'm going to start over on this side and work my way over 10 here, 10 here, and 10 here. Okay, I got my first row all around. And then it says uh, crochet in rows in 10, crochet 10 rows of ribbing backwards and forwards without either increase or decrease. So that was row one. So chain one and turn, back loop only. And there we go, this is row two. So I will be back whenever I have 10 rows of ribbing worked up. It really just seems like we have a lot of toe real estate compared to heel real estate. Doesn't it? I don't know. Maybe not. Okay, I'm going to let it go. <laughs> I'll be back whenever I have 10 rows done. Okay, I worked my way up. It is starting to look more like a boot, and I realized, well, yeah, this is ribbing, so it's going to stretch. And when you stretch it, yeah, it does look, it does take on a more appropriate, like, size like length size foot size okay let's look and see what we do here all right uh recommends with cardinal wool okay 10 all the way around did that okay 11th row uh one increase at the beginning and one increase at the end of the row then three plain rows 15th row one increase at the beginning and one at the end of the row, then four plain rows. Let me hold this up so you can see what I'm reading here. Here's what I'm reading right here. Okay, now 20th row, again, one increase at the beginning and at the end, now eight plain rows, and the boot will be sufficiently, excuse me, sufficiently long. Sew up the leg, making the raised ribs meet one another for the trimming. So the trimming is gonna be all of this and all of this down here. So let's go ahead and work all of that. I don't, I'll, sh I'll work the first row with you, the um, 11th row. And then after that, I think you guys can probably go from there. So you'll work the 11th row, then three plain rows, then the 15th row followed by four plain rows and the 20th row will be an increase at the beginning and the end followed by eight plain rows. So an increase on the 11th row, an increase on the 15th row, and an increase on the 20th row. So three increases total. Okay. Of course, we're going to need our stitch markers. So let's go out and why zeroed it out. 11th row, let's work our increase. Chain one, work two stitches. You know what I've been doing? I kind of screwed up. I'm so used to working the full stitch on the first stitch and the last stitch of each row that that's actually what I've been doing. So I'm gonna continue to do that. It, it just makes a nice clean edge. So the first row or the first stitch, I'm gonna work the full stitch, two single crochet there. Now I will work back loop only. All the way to the other end where I will work two single crochet into the last stitch. Then after this, I will work three plain rows until I reach row 15, where I will repeat 
the increases, working two stitches in the first stitch and two stitches in the last. Okay, so let's meet back up when we have come to the, it looks like the 28th row. Because the 20th row is our last increase and then eight rows after that plain. So the 28th row. Okay, I will be right back. Okay, here is the little boot so far. It is sewn up in the back. It is now looking more like a boot. I was freaking out, but look, I mean, it's ribbing. You can stretch it. I was freaking out at first thinking, no way this is right. Uh, I think this can fit an infant. And if you want to make this bigger, just use a bigger yarn, a bigger thread, and a bigger hook. Just experiment with it a little bit. Take some measurements of the foot and the calf and go from there. Okay, let's work on the trimming. Okay. With cardinal wool, one single crochet in the center of the instep. Here. Okay. Um, in the fourth depressed rib. Five double, I'm sorry, yes, five double crochet on the fifth raised, no, yeah, on the, I'm sorry, I'm messing up so bad reading. Okay. On the fifth raised rib of the instep, to make these trouble, I'm sorry, to make these double, instead of working in the usual way, draw the, the wool through all three of the loops on the stitch at once. That is a half double crochet. Well, they just described a half double crochet. To make these treble instead of working in the usual way draw the wool through all three loops of each stitch at once now that sounds like a half double crochet to me one single crochet in the neck okay first of all we have to establish are we starting down here because that looks like the white wool to me but maybe maybe we're making these right here maybe that's what we're doing trust the process okay So, the instep is going to be right here. It says the fifth. Don't count that. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there we go. The fifth. All right. I'm just going to randomly put that in there. Maybe I'll come over one this way. All right. With the burgundy or cardinal, merlot, whatever color. Okay, work a, work one single crochet in the center of the instep of the fourth depressed, of the fourth depressed rib. Oh, down here. Okay. Of the fourth depressed rib. Five double crochet on the fifth raised rib. I'm just so... All right, do I need to Y'all aren't making this easy for me, not you guys, the pattern writers. Like they really <laughs> I'm going to quit complaining. All right. Well, now that's just dumb. Well, now what am I going to do? Come up here and do Now that's just dumb, Karina. All right, I don't know what I was thinking there just now. I'm going to come in this way. Oh, my goodness. All right. Here we go. One single crochet, all right? Now it says... Uh, Five double crochet on the fifth raised rib of the instep to make these it says treble but it's UK treble so US double to make these double instead of working in the usual way draw the wool through all three loops so let's move up here 
to the raised. I'm just going to go through. There we go. Oh, I really should have yarned over first. Okay. This is not the most easy to do. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and five, essentially half double crochet. Okay, so I'm just gonna, for simplicity's sake, half double or UK half treble. Uh, then it says um, all three loops. Okay, one single crochet in the next depressed rib. One single crochet in the next depressed rib. Well, let's make it happy. I'm just sort of working around that, that front post. Nope, that was a slip stitch. There we go. Okay, I'm going to need my, my little note here. All right. And so on. Oh, and so on. Working eight groups of five half double crochet or half trebles up the leg. Then work the same, making nine groups of half doubles or UK half trebles. One single crochet between each group round the top of the leg. Okay, so we're working our way up and then once around. All right. And I'm gonna put it right here where it says, and so on. Okay, so then the next raised stitch up. So each valley gets a, or depressed row, gets a single crochet and each raised row gets the five half doubles. I just, the hard part is gonna make sure that I'm staying even and that I don't start listing off to one side. It's not gonna be the hard part, but it's gonna be something to pay attention to. I should re reword that and yarn over first. There we go. Okay. One, two, three, four and five. Yes, I will make this pattern available for you guys. I think this is one that's worth making available to all of you. Um, it's Cause some of these mystery patterns, they're just a simple doily, you know, you can really just watch the video, but something like this, I think this is something y'all, some of you might really want to have. Okay, next Valley gets a single crochet. And then the next raised stitch directly above. I'm trying really hard. I feel like I might be listing. No, I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Yarn over. There we go. And then five half doubles. Okay, so one two, three, four, and five. You know, there's really no reason why you couldn't make this for an adult either. Just use a thicker cotton. Like, here is a, a sport weight cotton. That would probably be good for a bigger child. But just use a thicker cotton or a thicker wool. You can absolutely make this for an adult as well. All right, next valley stitch up. And I want to make sure that I am keeping in line. I think it's going to be here, or is that over too far? 
That really is kind of a tricky part, isn't it? Making sure you stay right in line. Let's see, I feel like either this one or this one. Either this or this. I'm not sure. I'm going to go for this one. Okay, so I'm going to work the rest of this off camera. Well, until I get to the top. And then I will be back. Well, my goodness. Not the easiest to maneuver. Okay, I will be right back. Okay, I just worked my last single crochet in this little valley right here before our last row at the top. So now into that last row, and that top row I should say there, I'm gonna go ahead and start working these shells. Now it doesn't say how many specific um, I'm going based on the picture, so if it looks like it's starting to overcrowd, that was three, four, and five. I might um, undo the top portion here and maybe work two single crochet between the, the little fan stitches here. I'm just not sure. I'm trying to go based on the picture uh, because we have a lot of stitches up here. So I wanna make sure that I don't do any, too much overcrowding. So the next stitch over, I am just working through both loops here. Now the next stitch after that, since we were doing every other stitch, oh, I didn't show you how this turned out. So here's how that turned out. So since we were working every other stitch here, essentially, I wonder if I meant to, because it just says all around the top. Here, let me show you. Okay, it says, and so on, working eight, groups of five treble. Oh, I worked a lot more than eight. Oh, I guess I should have paid closer attention to what I was reading. Oh no. Oh, it does specifically say, yeah, I worked a lot more than eight groups. Uh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh man. Okay. Well, you know, they did say and so on. Okay. Uh work one single crochet in the center of the instep. You okay, Merlin? Did you drop your toy? Um in the fourth depressed rib. Did that. Five half double crochets on the fifth raised rib of the instep to make these. Okay, one single crochet in the next depressed rib, five half double crochet in the, ne in the next depressed rib. Oh, daggummit. Okay, well... This is the price you pay for not paying attention, huh? All right. And look at all these stitches I stretched out. There we go. They just went right back in. Okay. So we're working in the, <clears throat> excuse me, in the depressed ribs. All right. So this is the single crochet right here that my hook is into now. Let me flatten all those back out. So we're gonna jump up over the protruding rib and go back into the next depressed rib and work our next, wait, yeah, that's the single crochet. Okay, and Still have to try to make it a straight enough line right here. There we go. And that is one. 
not the easiest to maneuver. Two, three, four. I almost want to work in the 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 protruding ribs. They're easier to access. All right. So that's one, two. Single three, single four, single five, single six, single seven, single eight. Okay, every other. All right, so now we're going to jump over this and work one single crochet into the next rib, depressed rib up. Well, it's really not the easiest getting into those. Maybe if I go from this direction. Why was I doing that the other way? Why was I doing that the other way? A little fuzzy. Okay, you know, I just feel like such a goofball. Why wasn't I doing it from this direction the whole time? It's so much easier. Okay, next, I'm going to skip over this, and then the next depression up. There we go. And we go one, I am, I am really struggling to see what I am doing, two, three, four, five, next depression up, single crochet. Next one up, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm gonna work like this all the way up to the top. Well, this one, I'm gonna redo that one. That one is just goofy looking. Okay, I'm gonna continue to work in this fashion all the way up to the top. Uh, whenever I have eight here, and then it said to work nine around the top, it did give specific numbers. I feel so silly. This is going to sound like an excuse, but I think it's one that we can all understand. I had a lot of distraction here. <laughs> Every time I'm filming, someone comes out, I have to stop. I lose my train of thought. And then, of course, the dog is always, the dog was barking at the front door while I was working as if somebody had knocked on the door. Nobody knocked on the door. So I have some distractions. I know that sounds like a cheap excuse, but it's the truth. Okay, no more excuses. I'm going to do this right. I'll be right back. Okay, so I corrected my previous error. Of course, that was just pure lack of paying attention. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It said to work eight going up. And here we go. All right. Now it says, uh, all right, um, working eight groups of five half double crochets up the leg, then work the same, making nine groups of double crochet with one double crochet between each group round the top of the leg. So again, I think we're going to have to do a little something because we definitely have a lot of stitches around here. So let's try this on for size. One single crochet, because I just worked, I just worked a group of trebles or half double crochets. So let's work one, skip one, work one. So I'm gonna work my fan stitch up here now. One, two, three, four, and four. Five, skip, single, skip, and work one. Now let me count this out. Let me make one real quick. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. So that's one, two, skip, single, skip, three, Single skip four. Hmm. 
skip, single, skip, five, skip, single, skip, six, skip, single, skip, seven, skip, single, skip, eight. I think that's going to work out. Skip, single, skip, nine. Yeah, that's going to work out. Okay, so just worked a shell stitch. That's just what I'm going to call them just to simplify it. Now I'm going to skip, work a single, and I'm working through both loops. Skip and work my shell in the next stitch over. So I'm going to repeat that all around the top. I will be right back. You guys ever notice that that happens a lot? Right when I say I'm going to be right back, I horribly split my yarn. One, two, three, four, and five. Skip, single, skip, shell. Okay, I'll see you guys in a minute. I was just looking, now it wants us to switch back to the white wool. And here is how that all worked out. So I'm actually going to finish my last stitch with the white. So yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, grab the white, and complete this last stitch with the white. And it said to work a single crochet, which is a slip stitch. into the top of our starting single crochet right here. There we go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut. Oh wait, no, I should probably leave this. What if we attach it later? I'm gonna keep this attached for now. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Second row, okay, with the white wool, one single crochet, which means slip stitch in here. Single crochet, current American name, slip stitch. Okay, now let's see what we're gonna do. Going forward, not easy to hold this up all the way down at the bottom. Okay, work one slip stitch on the single crochet of the last row. I just did that. One more slip stitch, one single crochet on the second stitch of the half double crochets of the last row. Okay, one more slip stitch on the second all right, that's the first. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so slip stitch into the second stitch over. So what I did is I counted one, two, three, four, five. So I know that I got to go back one. Second half double crochet. We work a slip stitch and then it said a single crochet. This is turning out to be really, really adorable. Okay. All right. Oh, it's not easy to... I'm just going to read it, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't. Okay. I was, I was trying to balance it with one hand in this very tight space, and... The majority of the book is on this side and it just keeps wanting to slip out. So I'm sorry. Anyways, okay. <clears throat> All right, oh, we just did that part there. One single crochet in the second stitch of the uh, half double crochets of the last row. Um, wool over the needle, insert the hook in the stitch of the last row and draw the wool through. Repeat from the wool over portion four times. Draw the wool through all the stitches on the needle together. One single crochet in the second stitch of the next group. All right, and then repeat. 
the groups of raised stitches are always to come uh, between the trebles of the previous row. Oh, between. All right. Between. Well, we're not between now. Let me just... Okay, I get what it means. All right, so we are in the second, the second half double crochet of this fan. So let's yarn over. We're going to work five loops on the hook. It would have helped if they had said that part. So we're going to go into the next stitch over and pull up a loop. And then we're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch over, pull up another loop, yarn over, go into the next. We're going to go into the next five stitches. Yarn over, go into the next. This is that single crochet we just worked into. Did I yarn over? I did. Okay. And then we're going to yarn over and go into the next. That is the first half double crochet of the next fan over. That was five stitches we worked into. We yarn over and we pull through all the, the loops, chain one, and we work a single crochet into the next stitch over and then repeat. Yarn over and work, pull up a loop in the next, <clears throat> one two three four and five stitches in a row so here we go one remember to yarn over first sorry about that how high was that i hope you guys are able to see it one two three four and five <clears throat> One, two, three, four. So your last, I, was I yarning over? I don't think I was, damn it. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Yarn over and you're gonna work, pull up one loop through each of the next five stitches in a row. So yarn over, that's one. Yarn over, next stitch over, that's two. Yarn over, next stitch over, that's three. Yarn over, next stitch over, that's four. Yarn over, and the first stitch of our next shell, that's five. Then yarn over, pull through all the stitches. Chain one, work one single crochet into the next stitch over, which is the second stitch of the shell. And we just repeat, yarn over and into the next stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. Pull through everything, chain one, single crochet into the next stitch over. So let's work this all around. I will be right back. Okay, I just worked my last shell um, and I wound up working that into the first single crochet that we made right here. This was our starting single crochet, and that's where I did my last yarn over and pull through from. I haven't worked, I only worked a slip stitch. I haven't worked anything else beyond that. So let's see what we're gonna do next. Okay, not easy to hold. <laughs> All right, third row with white wool, same as first row working the five half double crochet stitches in the stitch which draws together the five raised stitches of the last row. The trimming down the front is now complete. Oh, 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 wait, we supposed to work down the front? Maybe. Oh, man. I think we were supposed to... No, maybe third row is what they're considering working down the... I'm going to cut this. I'm going to go ahead and cut that. Um, 
Okay, I guess we carry on and work down the front. So, all right. Uh, let's see here. One, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna work one single crochet right here and one more in the next stitch over. And now I'm gonna go ahead and go one, two, three. Oh, geez, I'm sorry. Four and five. Single crochet, one, two, three, four, five. Strange that they would call this row two, row three, I mean. It's very strange. This is turning out really cute. All right, I'm going to finish working this all the way down. Let me read on. Because we have some stuff up here to do. Okay, the trimming down the front is now complete, but work the last two rows again around the top. Okay, once with the cardinal wool and once with the white and the boot is finished. Of course, any two shades of wool can be employed or one color even if preferred while the trimming sorry i wasn't sure if i was supposed to read um, shades or trimming trimming down the front and along the top of the boot can be varied according to the maker's fancy or a ribbon run in and tied in a bow at the side as a pretty finish okay and if if i am gonna make this pattern available you will note that there is some strange happenings with the print. So that's not on my end. That's nothing I can I can help. This is how the book itself is printed. Okay, that's just for, so just a little FYI there. Uh, but it's still pretty readable, you know, five trebles. I mean, we're creative people. We can read past stuff like that. Okay, all right, I'm gonna finish working the rest of these down the way here. There we go. I will be right back. Okay, so what I wanna do with this little boot here, see how this is just sort of up? Now, if there's a leg in there, it's still gonna be up. So I think whenever I go to weave in my ends, since I did give myself long ends, I think what I'm gonna do is just sew this flap down like that. Just sew it down, just tack it down a little bit with my ends. And that way it gives more of the, the look in the photo, you see, or the drawing. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, but here is the front of it now. Okay, let's do the top. So I'm gonna go based on the um, drawing here because it tells us uh, work the last two rows again around the top of the leg, once with cardinal wool, once with white, and the boot is finished. So it looks like though what we need to do is work two rounds with the white two rounds with the cardinal, and then finally two rounds with the white. Our first round, well, our next round with the white is going to be um, the five double crochet. And then, yeah, okay, we'll just, not double, but half doubles. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to join. I don't want this area to be full of nothing but joins and knots. That's going to look terrible. So I'm going to randomly join back here, actually. So I'm going to join in a single crochet with the white. Okay. 
and how does that look in the photo? Yeah, so I'm going to start with a single crochet and then jump over here into our chain one at the top of our band stitch there and work five half double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. One single crochet into the single. And then repeat, jump over here to that chain one right here get this for you here is the chain one that we're going to be working into right there wish this wasn't so streaky almost want to put like you know what why is this so streaky oh don't do that now let's see if I can I know this is gonna seem silly just bear with me See if I can't help this out just a little bit because it is awful streaky. Just put a little powder. I would have preferred baby powder, but this is fine because, man, is it streaky. It's making my yarn um, catch. So I'm going to wipe off some of that excess. I'm just going to use my little couch blanket here and wipe off some of that excess so I don't make my white thread look funky. Let's see if that helped. Mm. No, not really. One. What am I doing? There we go. Yeah, that's terrible. I hate that. One. Two. Three. Four and five. Single crochet into the top of the single. And then the next chain one over. One, two, three, four, and five. I'll be back whenever I have worked all the way around. I'm just finishing up my last shell in the white here. I have one stitch left to work, and this is where I'm going to change color. I think we're going to work in a continuous round. Okay, so I'm going to yarn over and start my last half double crochet. And I will pull through with the red, but I'm going to keep it attached this time, I think. Keep the white attached to. All right. And now I'm going to single crochet on top of the single crochet right here. Okay, and then, um, oh yeah, I have to, that's a single, one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to jump over here and work one single crochet into the first, I'm sorry, into the second of that fan shell, the second stitch of that fan stitch. And I don't know why I said fan shell. You know, I'm trying to think and talk at the same time. <laughs> And, and start going. One, two, three. My fourth stitch should always land right on the single crochet. So four. Then my, my fifth stitch should land right on the first of the shell stitch. One, two, three, four, five, which is right here. Pull through all chain one, work one single crochet into the next stitch over. Now I should have 
three stitches left on this fan plus a single crochet and then the first a uh, half double crochet of the next shell stitch over shell stitch fan stitch i'm just throwing terms out loosey-goosey <laughs> one two three four and then five and one single crochet and repeat okay so I'm gonna do the rest of this in the burgundy and then the next round in burgundy and again I'm just gonna work in a continuous round the next round in burgundy is going to be working the five shells the five shells the five half double crochet shells and then I will pull up the white change color and work to these two rounds of the white you know with what we're doing right here will be my first round and then the the second round will be the five half double crochets and then that's it it ends with the two rounds of the white okay so i'm gonna work all of that off camera and i will be right back with the final results of course i'm going to weave in my ends and i am going to use my tails to kind of stitch this down just a little bit all right I'll be right back. I wish I had a little baby's foot to put this in, but that's okay. I'm gonna stuff it with something. <laughs> Okay, here it is. I think it is so cute. I stuffed it with some polyfill. Oh my goodness, isn't that cute? I tried to shape the foot exactly as close to as how it looks in the picture. Isn't that cute? Golly, it was almost, I mean, it's smaller, but I mean, almost actual size. I really think this would fit a newborn. Again, change your yarn size, change your hook size, and this should fit just about anyone. Um, yeah, this is really, really neat. And even though it seems like it took me a long time to make it, that was because I struggled with the pattern a bit. But now that I have the pattern down pat, and now you guys have the pattern, a pair of these wouldn't take but a day to make, really and truly. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of difficulty to the pattern, mostly just in trying to, well, I made mistakes by not fully paying attention half the time and then the other half the time it was sort of trying to translate what they mean a little bit but other than that oh isn't this wonderful I really really like it okay I consider this a success you guys what do you think I did have to unveil the pattern about you know less than halfway through but I really there was no way for me to understand what they meant without knowing what those key words were okay guys let me know what you think um I like it. Are you going to make a pair? Okay. I will see you guys in the next mystery. Bye.